guys, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a DIY garden marker, plant marker, plant tag, whatever it is that you want to call them video. I did a video like this about two years ago on five different pretty easy DIY plant markers. I have a few here that I'm going to show you how they've held up over the past couple of years and I have a ton of new ideas to share with you as well. So I will link that other video up here and down below. The sound quality in that is horrendous. I was still filming on my iPhone 6 so these are paint stir sticks that you can get for either free or really cheap. You can get like a pack of 10 at Home Depot, or if you buy a gallon of paint, they give you one or two of these for free with your purchase. I painted these, this was with a black chalk paint, and then I did a red one. This is just regular acrylic paint. You can definitely see that the wood has taken a beating being outside, but they've held up pretty well, and I could probably use them for a third season. This is a door shim that I wood burned onto the end, and this has held up really really well. I found that the thicker pieces of wood last longer. If you're going to use like popsicle sticks they're only going to last you like one season so that's fine if you want to be creative and just keep making them every year. This is a blueberry sign. It's just a little piece of wood that I got from Michaels and I think this is called a cocktail stick. Now you can't really see like a lot of weathering on here so I kind of think that I had this inside or maybe I ended up not using this one. Um, but I do think if I did use it outside, I'd probably get like a good two years of use out of it. Um, but it's a cute idea. Then I made two versions of kind of like a flag using black duct tape and I can't find those anywhere, but those held up really, really well. I used two different sizes of wood sticks. The ones that had the thicker stick like this held up really well, but the ones that I just used little skewers, like uh, barbecue skewers with, those didn't last very long. I did really enjoy that flag type of design, so I will be making a few more of those later on in this video. And then the ones where I used a black popsicle stick and I label printed out with my Dymo label maker, like eucalyptus or citronella on them, those look so chic. They do not last, but they look really good. But I have an idea to make those last a little bit longer if you wanna go for that kind of typeset aesthetic. And then I made some using the same rectangle piece of wood that I glued to a popsicle stick. And those were cute, not my favorite, but they definitely did not last. I mean, they lasted for the season, but I had to throw them away after that. So today's video is geared around making plant markers that last more than one or two seasons. So let's talk about when you're first starting your seedlings. Now you can buy little markers like this from the dollar store. They come in a pack of 10. These are pretty easy, pretty great. You can also take a plastic container like a yogurt container or an old milk jug and kind of cut them into strips. And then these can be your plant tags as well. Super easy to write on. Same thing as these. And now, once you've labeled all of your seeds and you wanna reuse these, just take a cotton pad like this and some acetone and then wipe away the permanent marker and then you can reuse them. Perfect. Easy peasy and then you can reuse these many, many times. Now here is another idea. So when you buy blinds, they always come with an extra vinyl blind cut this down and then use this as your plant marker. You have a really old pair of blinds that you're wanting to replace, take them down, reuse the individual vinyl little slats and make yourself some plant markers that way. This is the Gorilla brand of black duct tape. This is the best duct tape I've ever found. The Gorilla brand, all of their stuff is great, but the black duct tape just sticks so much better. So in my last video, I just took a little strip of the Gorilla black duct tape and put a cocktail stir, one of these sticks in the middle, and then I just kind of flopped it over on itself. So this is basically what I made in the other video, just some duct tape, a little skewer, and then a Sharpie paint marker. This will last you maybe two, maybe three seasons because it's a little bit thicker wood, but I have an idea on how to make it last even longer. So we're just gonna take plain acrylic paint and then give these a coat of paint. Now for this, you can use whatever color of paint you want. You could probably even stain these up and that would look really cute because we're gonna paint these and then we're gonna go in with some Mod Podge. Now that you've painted and mod podged your sticks, now you can add little flags to these if you'd like. So 
instead of using wooden objects like this little skewer or a popsicle stick, if you wanted to get away from using wood totally, you can use wire like this. I found this at Home Depot. You just ask them to cut you a section of however long you need. And then I also found this wire at the dollar store. In order to cut this, you are gonna need some wire cutters. Oh, we got our copper piece cut. We got our gold piece cut. Now we can go back in with the same Gorilla Tape or we could use this kind of metallic duct tape or I found this duct tape at Walmart that looks like burlap, which is pretty cool. And the good thing about using reflective tapes in the garden, it keeps birds away so they don't eat all of your berries. One of the plant markers I made in the previous video was just using this black popsicle stick that I got from Michaels and then printing out a little label like this from my Dymo label maker and then just kind of sticking it on there. I love this look. This little popsicle stick doesn't last very long. So in order to prolong the life of this, what I'm going to do is just coat it in some Mod Podge. Once you have one or two coats of Mod Podge on your sticks, you can go ahead and put your label on. Next up, I found these at the dollar store. I think they are for yard sale signs. They are paper, but they're kind of plasticky. Let's take one of these and then cut it down to a workable size. Get all the little spikies off. So we got this cut down, then I'm gonna kind of laminate it in my tape. Stick it on there, flip it on over. And you can cut it down to size. Now we have this like little reflective square. Now it's your call here what you want to attach this to. You can go in some popsicle sticks, one of these wooden skewers. You could cut down a little piece of your blind or you can use either of your wires. I'm gonna make a couple more of these and then I'm gonna have some fun with what I'm gonna attach it to. So for this first one, I'm gonna attach this gold wire to the back with just using some more of that same gold tape and then just tape it to the back. All right, there you go, one down. For this one, I'm gonna hole punch in the top we're gonna bend the top of our wire over like this. Then we're gonna thread in our little hole punch over the hole, like so. Then we're gonna take two little sides. Just gonna put some A6000 along this side. And along this side. For this next one, this is a little fan that I found at the dollar store. It is so pretty, one dollar. But the thing I noticed is along the back, each one of these little plastic pieces that fans out has a pretty long tail, which would be great for sticking into the dirt. So I thought that we could take this apart and use these individual plastic pieces as our plant markers. Go ahead and rip these off of the fabric. So we have two end pieces and 12 middle pieces. Now, these are really pretty just by themselves, just the plastic and the gold leafing. You could flip it over and write what your plant is right there. There's not a lot of surface area on here to write what your plant is. So I have an idea. So if we cut down our yard sale paper stuff and then cover it, Again, with our duct tape. We're gonna take a little tiny tack nail like this and poke a hole kind of in the top center. Like 
These are called Brad's. I got this little pack at Michael's. It's a multicolored pack. I'm just gonna grab a little brass colored one. We're gonna poke it through the hole, just like that. And then we're gonna go through this hole up here. And then on the back, spread it open like this. So then we have a little hang taggy on this thing. I think that looks kind of cute. They also had this black fan that I just took apart. So we got two of the ends and then two of the middle pieces. I think these look pretty elegant. I made three more. I used some more of that gold tape. This is a copper flashing tape. I wouldn't really recommend using this because it is metal and it is so thin. It's really, really hard to work with and it gets really, really wrinkly. So I would stick to something thicker like a duct tape if you can. Now I'm gonna take some popsicle sticks and cut them down to size. So we're just gonna cut these down to the same length as our little sign. So these have a coat of Mod Podge on them. I'm just gonna attach them to the tape squares with some E6000. And now for this sweet potato one, this is a little craft stick that I have Mod Podged and we are just gonna tape it to the back with that same burlap duct tape. Out with the old, in with the cute. These are some DIY stickers I got from the dollar store. Kind of color them in and then add a stick to the back. So there are these little sticky uh, dots, but they, they're not gonna work for what we're doing. So I'm just gonna peel that right on off. I'm gonna do a watermelon. So for the lemon, I'm just gonna go in with a marker that I have and I'm gonna color in the insides of the little lemon areas. Time for our handy dandy E6000 again. We're just going to put some glue right here. Glue it to the back. Same, this is the copper wire I got from Home Depot. Just like that. Let that dry. A little lemon and a little watermelon. If you like videos like this, please feel free to subscribe and ring that little notification bell so you can get notified every time I make videos on DIYs, upcycles, thrift flips, home decor, and home review. Okay, 